these technical difficulties, but you're here. Okay. I'm here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How are you? I'm so good. So sorry. <laughs> no, not at all. We made it through. We made it through. Oh, we my God. <laughs> Because it gave me a notification that you were unable to join. So I was like, oh, no. I don't know. what I have Just a glitch in the matrix tonight. Yeah, it's okay. So. Made it through, and it's just another addition to Tuesday. It's okay. Yep. yep. <laughs> exactly. We're going to just forget it. We're good. But, we're good now. Okay. We're good. Okay. <laughs> um, just so we can get started, I'm just going to introduce myself. My name is Ibukolu Amale. Um, and I use she, her pronouns, and I am the social media program coordinator as well as HIV test tester at Whitman Walker. And David, you can go ahead and introduce yourself and also talk a little bit about what we're going to talk about today. Sure. And I'm Dave Mallory. I'm the director of annual giving at Whitman Walker. My pronouns are he, him, his. Um, so basically, uh, I work in our fundraising department as part of the Whitman Walker Foundation which raises community support for all the great programs that um, that Whitman Walker um, provides to the community. Yeah, awesome. So we're going to so, talk about that. Um, before about we get into... Walk to end age yes, exactly. So we're going to talk about that today. But before we get into that, I just have to say a few things. So during the past few months, um, Whitman Walker's Community Health Department has ex expanded its outreach efforts to the social media platform. So we cover various topics about HIV STI, um, sexual health practices, access to care, social determinants of health, and general public health interventions. So the next series of outreach sessions will focus on the current pandemic, COVID-19, and ways to manage your sexual, personal, and mental health. So the community health team is here to educate and support you always. So just so we can get straight into what we're here to talk about, I have a series of questions to ask you, Dave. But um, if anyone that's watching has any other questions, um, you can just um, leave it in the chat. So the first question I have for you is, what does philanthropy mean to Whitman Walker? Sure. Well, um, community support means so much to Whitman Walker because it really allows us to continue to provide the high quality care um, that we're known for. It's especially important for some of the programs that many folks are probably most familiar with. Um, those programs where we provide um, um, services at no cost or just at a requested donation, such as our sexual health and wellness clinic, our HIV and STI testing, um, some of our youth and family programs, and as well as our legal service clinics, um, especially our very, really popular name and gender change clinic. So the funds that we raise from the community actually keep those programs running. Um, so it's incredibly important. At the foundation this year, we're tasked with raising uh, $3.6 million. Wow. Um, which is, you know, <laughs> a hefty amount. Yeah. Um, but it, all, it goes towards all those programs, as well as, of course, upcoming projects, um, like our expansion uh, in, um, in, at the St. Elizabeth's uh, campus. Mm -hmm. where we'll be opening our, our home in 2023. So, That's so really it's, it's incredibly important. <laughs> and you know, when I, when I think about, um, when I think philanthropy, what I really think about uh, is community, you know? Yeah. And, and on our side in the development team, we're tasked with really building those connections, those bridges to individuals, to corporations, to community groups, um, and, and telling the story of Whitman Walker and why we're important to the community, you know, that we've served for 40 plus years. So really, I mean, it's certainly a financial thing, mm -hmm. but for me, it always goes back to the community. It's about building the, the bridges, telling the story of Whitman Walker and encouraging community support so that we can continue to provide care. Yeah, um, awesome. So ultimately what I learned from that is philanthropy to Whitman Walker just means like the community and giving back to the community that we serve. So that's, a, that's an awesome mission that Whitman Walker has. Um, another question I have for you is, what do you and others in the development office do to support Whitman Walker? Sure, well, again, I mean, the, the main goal of course is for us to raise at least that 3.6 million to, to you know, provide support for the ongoing programs. Uh, what I do specifically in my role is to raise funds through um, more traditional means like mail, uh, mail, mail appeals, um, telemarketing, uh, digital, 
I also partner with um, uh, other members of the team to manage our annual walk and 5K to end HIV. So we do also work on um, events throughout the year where we encourage um, folks to turn out, be part of community and support us financially. Um, and then, you know, basically a lot of it is about, um, again, building those relationships, those long-term relationships with donors, letting yeah. them know what their support does, what it means in reality. You know, telling the stories about patients who've been so affected by the care that we've provided, things of that nature. Uh, and then basically just taking good care of those relationships, you know, thanking donors um, in a really timely way um, for their support, letting them know how much they're appreciated and that they're as much a part of the Whitman Walker family as anyone. Yeah, so thank you for answering that. So. Let's say I was a person that wanted to use support Whitman Walker. What are things I could do to support Whitman Walker? Sure. Uh, first and foremost, yeah. I'm, I'm going to pitch the walk and 5K to end <laughs> HIV once again. It's coming up on October 23rd, <laughs> and it's Whitman Walker's largest annual fundraising event. This year, our goal is to raise $450,000. I am the okay. 35th anniversary of the walk this year, which is pretty amazing. And what's yeah. more amazing is that it coincides with the 40th anniversary of uh, HIV being identified as a real public health threat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for the past 35 years, the community comes together, you know, wh whether it's friends, family, co-workers, um, uh, church um, groups, things of that nature come together, help us raise money to support those programs. And, um, and we're looking forward to a great year. Yeah, um, that's really awesome. And I guess just so we can clarify about how the walk is occurring this year, is it in person? Is it a virtual walk? Could you give us more information about the annual walk? Sure, I'm happy to. Yeah. You know, as much as we'd all like to gather thousands strong as we, you know, would normally do <laughs> in a normal period, um, you know, out of, out of precaution, you know, for everyone's safety and health and security, uh, we have taken it um, virtual once again. Okay. Uh, we are encouraging people, though, to get out and to walk with friends, their, their you know, family, whoever they feel most safe with, mm -hmm. um, from a health perspective, given the ongoing um, COVID epidemic. Mm -hmm. um, so we are encouraging people to get out there and walk. And we have routes that we've provided on our website, you know, that they can go out and, and walk that will take them by Whitman Walker locations. Wow. And we have greeters out in front of um, uh, two of our locations uh, to say thank you, to pass out T-shirts if they haven't gotten their T-shirt. Um, registration is free because we don't want to you know, have any financial barrier to participation. So we encourage people to do that, to start a team, and really help us raise the, those $450,000. Uh, other than that, I would say, you know, from a non-financial standpoint, I would say, just like those of us, those who are watching us tonight, you know, <laughs> follow us on our, our social media platforms. Get to know Whitman Walker. Um, yeah. Come to us for care. Come to us for an HIV test. Um, you know, simple things that you can do to, to be more involved with Whitman Walker and give back. Um, another easy way, I know we've all been homebound now for, yeah. <laughs> I've, lost, I've lost track of well, what we're on. <laughs> But I know, I know we're doing a lot more at-home shopping. So a really easy way to give back is to, if you're shopping from Amazon, is to shop on smile.amazon.com and choose Whitman Walker as the charity you'd like to support. And then a portion of all your purchases will go back to, to Whitman Walker. That's, uh, awesome. so that's a really easy way to, you know, to, to support us. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing all those ways. And I think, yeah, that definitely gives everyone an opportunity to support with Whitman Walker in whatever way they see. So just to like reiterate, you don't have to be in DC to participate in the walk. You can do it from anywhere since it's virtual this year. Um, and yep. you can also like support us by purchasing items through smile.com. I mean, smile.amazon.com. Yep. Um, just my last question for you. Um, so again, with co the COVID-19 pandemic, how do you foresee development changing over the next year? And uh, do you have any other final words to share about um, how people can support Whitman Walker? Throughout? Sure. Sure. Just, you know, like I know, you know, COVID has impacted all of our, um, the ways we, um, the ways we communicate, the ways we relate to other people. And that certainly has been the case 
with us and our fundraising efforts because, you know, in a pre-COVID world, a lot of what we did really relied on in-person communication and that, that relationship building. So we've had to be really, really thoughtful over the, the course of the past year, and we will be moving forward. And um, how do we maintain those bonds with community and with donors who support us? So we're doing, of course, a lot more email communication, but we're also trying to find, you know, more personal ways to show our gratitude yeah. to those in the community who support us, whether it's a handwritten note, whatever it might be. Um, I think as we come out of COVID, um, you know, we'll be take, probably taking little baby steps, but certainly what's on our radar, radar is, um, you know, maybe smaller gatherings to show donor appreciation. We'd really like to build a network of young professionals in the D.C. area. So that will be also on our, you know, on our to-do list. Yeah. Uh, we move forward. Um, and I guess, you know, for any um, closing thoughts, uh, is certainly, you know, as I said, it, it, every little amount Every little giving back to Whitman Walker helps. And it yeah. doesn't have to be financial. It can be, you know, volunteering. It can be uh, registering for free for the walk and then sharing it with your friends on Facebook or your social media networks. Um, it's, it's as simple as that. Um, you know, I just ask people, um, you know, think about what Whitman Walker actually means to the community. You know, and the 20,000 plus people we serve every year and the number of tests we provide and the role we've played you know on the front line in the fight against covid yeah you know, if i ask people to think about that consider giving what they can because every little every little dollar helps you know and, yeah. and helps us continue to provide the the care that we do yeah thank you so much thank you so much for coming on our platform today and just talking about the walk and different ways for people to um give back to whitman walker um i'm just gonna yeah. leave a to see if anyone has any questions for um, Dave and I. And if not, um, we can go ahead and, you know, wrap it up. And also, we put in the chat, like, the different ways you can um, give back to Whitman Walker if you missed our live already. So we can just leave a few minutes if anyone has any questions. So let's see. I don't see any. Okay. Well, it looks like you answered everything perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> but so before we go, I just um, want to say thank you again for coming on. And just want to give a few reminders about COVID-19 and the vaccines. So if you've already gotten vaccinated, congrats. You've taken a really important step to preventing yourself, your loved ones, and your communities from illness. Um, the Delta variant is soaring across the U.S. And at this moment, it is totally understandable why you might want to continue wearing your mask because we know that um, the vaccine is not 100% effective and there's more contagious variants that are spreading. Um, so keep on staying alert. And if you haven't been vaccinated and you are looking for an appointment, um, Whitman Walker Health does have the COVID-19 vaccine available. So everyone ages 12 and up is eligible to get the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. And everyone ages 16 and up are eligible to receive a COVID-19 vaccine. So please reach out to us at 202 um, 207 2480 to make an appointment. And if you're having trouble making an appointment with us, we, um, if you're a DC resident, you can find more information by calling 1 855 363 0333. Um, if you're a Maryland resident, you can call 855 634 6829. And if you're a Virginia resident, you can call 877 829 84, I mean 4682. And if you haven't been vaccinated and you are not looking for an appointment, um, we urge you to continue to still follow the CDC guidelines for mask wearing and quarantining as well as distancing. Um, it's really important that you discuss COVID precautionary measures with those around you. Um, be mindful of the mask and the and um, be mindful of the mask mandates um, because you don't know whether the person around you has been va vaccinated or not. And like we talked about today, if you want to support Whitman Walker, please sign up for our virtual walk. Um, it's occurring on Saturday, October 23rd. And like Dave said, this is a super special year because this is the 35th anniversary of the walk. And um, it's really important to us and it's really important to the mission of Whitman Walker. And finally, you can find us on 
Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Whitman Walker. Or you can also check out the website at www.whitmanwalker-.org. Um, and you can find the most up-to-date information about COVID-19. So